Hi, I'm Margie. I have a Hanukkah riddle for you. Why do you put candles on top of the menorah? Because it's too hard to put them on the bottom. Ah, ha, ha. Well, I may be terrible at jokes, but I am very good at making crafts. And I wanna share a craft with you today that we're calling do-it-yourself menorah or DIY menorah. So I have a lot of tiles left around my house from different projects that I've worked on. Uh, bathroom remodeling or kitchen remodeling and I bet you might have some leftover tiles at your house too. So I took one of those tiles and then I went out in the garden and I got some beautiful stones. The stones are very smooth and I picked ones that had flat tops. So I took the tile and then I put the stones on top. Now because both of these are smooth surfaces and they're non-porous you need to use a special glue. So I had to buy a special glue that's called tile adhesive. So I took the tile adhesive and I glued the stones down onto my menorah. And this is what I came up with. Now, of course, the shamus I used two stones for because that has to be the tallest. So once you have your menorah put together like this, you can do a couple of different things. You can use regular menorah candles that regular Hanukkah candles like that. And then I took some hex nuts that I had around and I can glue those on and then put the shamus like that and put all of my candles like that. But I thought maybe I would do something a little bit different because I love candles. And so one of the kinds of candles that I have all around my house are tea lights, which is like this. It comes in a little silver uh, cup and it's got a little light on it and they come in a big box like that So I'm gonna take a couple of those tea lights and that's what I'm gonna use to be my other candles But I can't do that for the shamus because it would be too hard to take this tea light and light the other ones But luckily I have a big box of Shabbos candles in my house 72 in that box so I took one of the tea lights and I took the candle out and I put a Shabbos candle in there and I have it like that. And there you have my DIY menorah. Hey CBH members, what's your Hineni this year? What are you called to do? Rededicate what you're called to do during the Hanukkah celebration and post your Hineni in this Facebook group and share it with us. Thanks, bye.